What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. And uh, for today's episode, we're just going to hit up the habit real quick. I'm with my little brother. He's the best brother in the world. And we're here at the habit. This is bomb ass food. I don't have to do a vlog of it. Um, but I basically told him that I'm going to chase the first place. And I'm talking multiple championships and several trophies in all aspects and a WPT championship. And with that being said, I have a $2,000 bankroll. I'm going to do a $2,000 bankroll challenge, and that basically indicates that I have $2,000 in my bank account. I know that's nothing. I know that's, you know, even sad and maybe even hilarious to others, but I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to get all these championships and my trophy WPT championship. Um, What's the worst that can happen? You know what I'm saying? $2,000 bankroll challenge, baby. Let's get it. So I'm going to go ahead and start the day um, with a little bit of relaxation. I'm here with my cousin. Um, we're out here at this little salt store. Um, he's been in there before. He's told me about it. And I was like, yeah, let's check it out, you know. And he's like, yeah, it'd be a good idea to vlog it. When you arrive downstairs, um, it has a cool little relaxing atmosphere to it, you know. Um, the lights are dim. Everything is shining off of the uh, a salt lamp and they have several of the highest grade salts that you can find anywhere um, for example this is gourmet salts um, enhanced from uh, pure Himalayan salt blends and they have salt baskets gift baskets kits etc they have candles and soaps and so if you've never been here um, it's out here in Santa Barbara on State Street and if you walk further south on State Street um, you'll come you run into this plaque um, going towards the pier uh, it's basically just a uh, reminder of the people that first flew the first plane. And in the funk zone, you'll find uh, various wine stores, wine tasting um, places, a tattoo shop, a little tattoo um, place right behind me. Uh, it looks like a long alley. Um, really interesting places around here, you know, Santa Barbara Winery, uh, the Tasting Room. We have um, various, there, there's also various uh, sh um, restaurants like the Fish House. Uh, it's out here on Cabrillo and Anacapa. Um, there's also the, the Flor de Maiz restaurant, which is really good. Uh, a little bit too pricey for me and my cousin right now. You know, we're hungry, but we're not that hungry. And so we went out to Milpas and Cañón Perdido and this little restaurant called the Tapatia Bakery. And I'm gonna go ahead and order a morache. You know, it's a pretty good deal. Um, it's a huge, uh, pretty much it's a sope, you know, um, that looks like a morache. It's corn-based. Um, and I got some uh, carne asada and beans, cheese, sour cream, etc. And I'm gonna try this out, you know, before I head out to LA. And I'm here with my cousin, and I appreciate him um, hanging out with me today. And let's we'll see if we can get this win, you know. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm a little excited, but let's see if I can increase this bankroll. Um, see if I can make this bankroll challenge into a positive instead of a negative. I start off at a 2-3 table trying to win my, um, to try to win my buy-in into the tournament. And I start off with $110 and I'm already feeling, you know, I'm already feeling it, you know, I'm feeling the pressure, you know, it looks like I'm not going to be able to, to make money, especially when it's, when everything's included in my bankroll, my gas, my food, my travel, everything. So let's see what happens. Uh, but with everything set aside and focused more on my hand, I'm looking down at Ace King um, under the gun and so I do a standard raise $17 and I do manage to get one collar and it folds all the way around and the flop comes ace nine queen two clubs I go ahead and check to try to in induce a um, a bluff and he goes ahead and puts in um, 20 bucks so uh, for 20 bucks I'm not going anywhere I have flopped an ace ace high with the king kicker you know um, so I go ahead and call and the turn comes out a king so now i know i'm good unless he had jack 10. i check it to him one more time and he does take the bait he puts a 25 dollar um bet out there and that only that's only going to leave me about 20 bucks behind 25 dollars behind so i go ahead and shove all in and he does make the call and he showed he showed me that he did have an ace with a small kicker um so that's that's the only reason he made the call and i take a nice pot down and then uh, shortly after i move to a bigger table 
All right, so I'm sitting here at the Hawaiian Gardens Casino, and this is my first time playing a 5-5 five -five, um, cash game, and I'm extremely nervous, you know. I don't want to lose money, you know. I don't have money to, to waste, you know. People say you have to have 100 times the blinds or whatever, and I'm not rich, you know. So with that being said, I bought, a, I bought in for 300. Um, I'm looking at ace-9, and I raise it 15. Um, the small blind and the gun both make the call, and we go three-way to the flop. And at first, it looks like I flopped an open-ended ace-high spade draw. And so when it gets checked to me, um, I go ahead and make a continuation bet of 20 bucks. You know, 20 bucks is a good amount because um, it allows me to kind of bluff at it, uh, hoping I could take a pot down now for 20 bucks. Uh, but unfortunately, both of them make the call. So we go to the turn, and the 7 actually brings me some outs. So now I have a, a gut shot, and... When it gets checked to me again, I'm just going to slow down and you know, do pot control. Um, but then I hit an ace right on the river, and that feels good because if they check it to me now, I know I got them beat. And that's exactly what ends up happening. They end up checking it to me. Um, so I put a $45 bet out there just in case he has a 10 or a 7 or something like that. Um, maybe even pocket jacks. I don't know if pocket jacks would ever play it like this. I doubt it. Maybe pocket 9s, pocket 8s, um, maybe even pocket 5s. Uh, so I put a good $45 bet out there, and he definitely tanks, but he ends up calling me. I show him the ace, and he mucks, so it's a good little pot for my first time playing a 5-5. Five -five. Um, so proof that anybody can play poker, absolutely anybody. As you can see, anybody can play poker. Anybody. All right, so on this next hand, I find myself under the gun, and spoiler alert, I can't hide my face. This always happens every time I get pocket kings. <laughs> what a dork. I can't believe it. I can't hide my face. It's just cowboys. Cowboys. I fucking love the cowboys. And with that being said, I tried to min raise it. Um, but I didn't notice that somebody had straddled 10 bucks. So I just called the straddle and it let in too many people. Uh, and the flop comes. Ace. Queen. 10. Two hearts, and it looks like a straight draw, and the ace is out there. Um, but everybody checks, surprisingly, so that was cool. Not too bad. Um, the button ends up putting a uh, $20 bet out there, so I counted it down. I can't turn away from kings on the first bet. I have to call it once. Brings another heart out there, so now I have the, the king high flush draw with the ace of heart out there. I check to him. Um, he checks it back. The river comes and it completes the flush. I check it to him, see if he wants to, you know, try to bait him in there, see if I can get him to bet, and that's exactly what he does. Um, so there's a straight out there. There's a flush out there. I have the king high flush. There's an ace hard out there on the board. Um, I got this in the bag. You know, there's no way he can beat me. There's no straight flush out there. There's no full belt. There's no full house. Um, so I'm just thinking, how much can I bet? You know, how much is he really going to... How much is he willing to call? And I figured maybe he has a straight or maybe he has the queen of hearts or the jack, you know, the jack of hearts or whatever. Um, because it did come out like almost like a straight right away. You know, the jack would have sticked in there, especially if, you know, he would have got the straight on the turn or whatever. Um, you know, being cautious of the, f of the flush. So I go ahead and put in a, a good $100, $145 bet, I believe. Um, I don't remember how much it was. But I'm hoping he calls it because, you know, like, I hope it's not an overbet. I hope he thinks I'm bluffing. I did check it to him. Um, so if he does have a queen or a jack, I hope, I'm hoping he thinks I have a nine or a straight or something, maybe two pair, maybe just an ace. And it takes forever, but ultimately he does end up making the call and I scoop a big one. So doing good in this 5-5 five -five for my first time. On this next hand, I find myself on the button, and I'm looking at 810. Um, I decided to call because everybody was already in it. There's a lot of people in here. Uh, I think there's five of us already. So I'm making a $55 pot. Uh, there's five of us in here. Small blind didn't put the five bucks in there. So we go five ways to the flop, and it comes 10, 6, 2. Two diamonds. The small blind leads out for 30 bucks, and I get one caller and i decided to call as well and we're going three way to the turn which comes the nine of spade and so now i have an, a gut shot straight draw to go along with my pair and i don't want anybody with the better pair to call 
like ace 10 king 10 queen 10 so i'm gonna go ahead and apply max pressure um i don't want the flush to hit i don't want a better 10 to call me and the only thing i can do now to take it down is go all in and hope for a seven or take it down right now and i apply max pressure and it seems like it's gonna work because the guy to my left tanks and he's holding his cards like he's gonna fold it and ultimately i, I believe he does end up making a fold and so does the guy so does the other guy and i scoop another nice pot all right everybody so that's all i have for today um if you like this episode you want to see more tournament plays more cash games um just hit the like to subscribe show some support and you know help me get there you know help me get to um 500 subscribers um you know give me that support i need to to keep this these videos going until then tomorrow i'm gonna win the tournament i need to win the tournament so i so i'm going to win the tournament because i want all my trophies and a little extra so till then see you next time